which I mean, it's not, it's not, huh? We all try. Yeah, and it's not a hard thing to do, but sometimes it's like, you know, like blocks to things. Like you're like, okay, I'm saying this, but have I ever did this before? And am I doing it right? You know? Yeah. So are you overthink what you're doing? You know, you could be doing the right thing, but you overthink it to be bad. I mean, you overthink it too much. So um, yeah. So you my actions. Stop. Like, you should stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm overthinking the damn answer right now. Look, like it's bad. Yep. <laughs> I overthink it's like don't much. overthink stuff. Like that's what I do on daily basis. I wish I could pay for that, and I'll be like a billion, a trillionaire, whatever it is by now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Um, I do think uh, actions do speak louder, but also a gesture of communication is also important. Yeah, like, that's true because, like, I feel like I feel like it, you communicate how you words feel. Words explain it better. You yeah, know, and, and, and you explain how you feel, and especially I feel like if I'm explaining something and it's coming from my heart, I'm going to tell you. You know, the actions will come, but I'm going to tell you what's, what's what I feel from my heart. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's double. You know, you cannot just like jump from one side to another. You know, because like actions actions are cool you know like being surprised is awesome i love being surprised you know like whew, mm -hmm. it's amazing it's a nice judge that person you know thought about it like you know kept it hidden secret but then you know sometimes it is also nice to just sit and communicate you know because actions cannot do all the work all the time i am about to i'd rather do it and then say than you know brag about oh i'm gonna do this 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 and never do it you know Mm -hmm. like because mm -hmm. I felt like I was like doing it uh with the podcast when it just came before you and it was like we recorded it with Sadia B and then it took me probably two weeks to sit and edit it I was like putting on a shelf putting on a shelf I don't know why but already you know but the the point of me bragging about it outside helped me to actually do it because, you know, everybody knows, so I kind of need to match. So in terms yeah. of that, as an example, yes, but like in relationship, it should be both. It cannot be just, you know, just actions or, you know, empty mm -hmm. promises. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah and, and that's one thing, you know, empty promises and, and actions. You, you, try, you try to, like, for me, I know I try to, to make my words max my actions. I try, I try that, like, I'm not perfect with it, you know? I mean, no one I, I feel like life. You cannot just like be, you know, 100, 100. Yeah, but I feel like, I feel like in like, just just in general, like past relationships, I, I wasn't as good at, at it and I never had anybody push me to it until like now. So where I have to like understand things, you know, like okay. But that that's the thing about like pushing though. You don't have no, no, to not, push. not not pushing, not pushing me. It wasn't really, I'm not trying to say pushing, but like like showing me, teaching me how to, under, to understand these things. Like, oh, you know, you say this, but, yeah, but you're yeah. not doing that. I'm not saying it's pushing me, but it's like, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I will say something and I'm like, okay, I understand that. I but I've it. been in a situation where uh people try to explain to me, you know, whatever they wanted to, or, you know, like whatever it is. And sometimes it didn't match with that person inside of that person. You know, it's just like, mm -hmm. you want me to do impossible things and you don't even know what you want, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, why should I jump over the hoops for you if you don't know which hoop you want me to jump through, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no, it just confused. sometimes it's not worth it you still have to be your own person this is uh you know about the like going back oh like it's right timing for everything you know mm -hmm. if if you're like in this uh, like to, like let's say you meet the same guys what happened with me and then you break up and you just like go in the same you know after stage you're just like in this circle which is toxic but it's comfortable you know mm -hmm. so once mm -hmm. you step out of the circle that is toxic yet comfortable, like stepping out of another yet a comfort zone, you break the cycle and then you start mm -hmm. to evolve and attract the people, you know, um, what's the, the cliche? Um, I, uh, you know, when people say, oh, you attract only fuck boys. No, we attract all people, but we choose fuck boys. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. that's an Instagram or a Twitter kind of thing. 
you know, cliche phrase. So yeah, I, I believe that as well, because, you know, it's rather choose this, 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 then wait, work on and do something good and choose something good. Because mm -hmm. it takes time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're like impatient people. So you just like, yeah, I'd rather have this now than, you know, something better later. Which okay. is like, it doesn't mean like, oh, nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm I, I got, I got another question. Yeah, I'm, I'm going like to you, whatever. Yeah, you went into a tangent right there. I was like, huh? Yeah, but <laughs> I, I got what I wanted to add you. though is the gut feeling. Do you think it's a cliche? Okay. No. Sometimes when you have a gut feeling about something, you could be right. I mean, you could. It's, it's a. I feel like I feel like it's a fifty-fifty thing. You know, you could be right or you could be wrong. I I uh, I often like mixed like gut feeling with my overthinking you know so like sometimes i need more time to like is it my head playing me now or is it my yeah, yeah. speaking to me yeah, you know i was like you gotta get all the facts <laughs> yeah all the facts. <laughs> which is like yeah that's crazy though yeah. but yeah that's uh, okay. kind of like gut feeling is trouble i think there's like a little in between the the feeling you know when you haven't even thought about anything yet but you already have the feeling I think that's mm -hmm. where the God is coming out and overthink is not out there yet. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. I got a question for you, though. Okay. Do you, I was do about you to say something. That... Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. No, no, All go right. ahead. All right. So uh, how do you feel about this cliche? If you can't love me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well... I would say, um, depending on what the worst is, right? Because you could be in a bad situation. Of, it's kind of like our generation kind of thing that I talked um, about stage of dating, right? Uh, in episode, uh, in the previous episode, where you know we're just so lonely, we don't need anybody, we just like you know, uh, I'm lonely and I'm good with it, but then. And we try to like push away people by showing them your worst sides. And if the people people don't stick, they don't worth it. But that's the thing. Other people also have their own things, you know, and you just like, as a meeting a new person, you have to, you know, it's all like, it's all nice feeling. It's all like, you know, honeymoon stage. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you just like fall into like bad things without even talking, you know, you just like showing attitude for no reason. And the person is like, the fuck, I didn't do anything wrong you know, mm -hmm. so it depends, but I stopped believing uh, a couple years back with that, oh, he lost a bad bitch, it's his loss, you know, when a guy, you know, doesn't want to, you know, continue anything, and of course, like, you take it personally, and you're just like, I don't need you, you lost the bad bitch, no one is losing anyone, you know, we just, like, meet people, we either stick together or not, or we just, like, there to, you know, introduce something to someone and vice versa and then we go separate ways and it's fine so no one is losing you it's just not the person this is why the right time you know like if uh, as i uh, gave the example with the with the work thing right and it was like it was devastating i swear to you it was the worst feeling ever because it was not something up to me to do mm -hmm. and i felt so useless and so powerless and, you know, it was just like, yeah. uh, but still, like, looking but, back where I am right now, I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, you. but you made a point about, like, you know, if somebody's saying, oh, you didn't love me in my words, you you made a point, and it, it, it stuck to me. That actually hit me. I like, always make a point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is cool. I mean, I, I say, like, some people, when they say, like, you can't love me in my words, I, I was thinking more of the facts on the line of, like, Hey, you know, I'm struggling with a situation right now. And, you know, if you can't love me while I'm struggling with the situation, I'm trying to do my best. You can't love me at all. I, and I'm not talking about like you just going through your personal demons. I'm talking about like a hardship, like, oh, I'm struggling with, you know, trying to find a job or something like that. Right. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, what you said was like, like dead on relationship. I was thinking more of like on the lines, like, you know, things that, mm -hmm. that can't, that's outside mm -hmm. of it. But that, that was good. That was good. I mean, you know, that's that's the core. Like, not gonna, you know, I've I've been doing it for some time. 
Mm-hmm. But it, like, but that's the thing. Like, if you're not ready, you don't have to be in a relationship. If you're not ready, yeah, you yeah. don't need anyone, you know. So that's okay. Which I've been like trying to stick to. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, that, that I think that goes uh, alongside with, um, uh, you know, um, ch- what's the word? Judge a uh, book by its cover, you know. So if yeah. he doesn't have a job, or you know, she is, you know, whatever, she doesn't have a job, or not doesn't have money to pay rent it all like you know it's actions right that speak louder than words but then if you don't communicate through that there is no point of that because you know you're struggling to find the word because of something right there are different types like you're struggling and you just lazy ass you don't have money but you spend you know like uh, i don't know 50 bucks on new shoes you know so it's not a struggle you just made a choice I'm, I'm gonna throw some comedy in there. I, I could say like, you know, say if a guy was like, you know, I'm struggling and he's trying to give this girl like, and she's like, no, you, you know, you at your worst right now. Why would I want to be with you? And then the next day, boom, he famous. And now you want to be with me? Like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you, you didn't hold me down when I was struggling and now you want to be with me because I got money. You know and this saying? is where I, we come, do not judge book by its cover. Yeah, this is all full circle, it's all full circle. Exactly, okay, you know, okay. it's, a, it's, all, it's all in there, so. Yeah. All right, I have another one for you. Let's see. We we knocking these out today. Look at you. We almost, oh yeah, we almost done. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So here's another cliche. Um, the first, uh, sorry, the sex on the first date um ruin the chance of your relationship. Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm asking like. No, I, I think it's total bullshit because um. Either you, like, I'm all about chemistry. If it's there, it's there. If you want to wait, wait. But if it's uncomfortable for you personally, why should you put yourself in a comfortable position? Um, There is obviously a stigma where, yeah, guy won't stick. But that, again, depends what you're looking for. Um, Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's going to affect anything in relationship if two people are, you know, in there and hitting it off and they still, you know, stay there together mm-hmm. because like, again, it's not all about sex. No. Sex is important. Of course. Like I'm going to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Depends on your, um, you know, sex um, libido. Right. So uh, it depends, but then um, if you still hit it off afterwards. Yeah. I mean, it's all there. I mean, it, it's the same where we go and we see those dating apps cliche. No, like, let's say dating profile cliche. You know, I'm looking for my Tinderella. Oh, uh, you know, I'm like here, like, no, what was that? No hook, like no hookups, right? For women. I'm just here to look for friends. Bitch, go, go Bumble BFF. Okay. Like that's what you're doing here is bullshit. Uh, you know, just be honest. And then, you know, guys here, oh, I'm just here. I don't use it. I, you know, I'm barely here. Then why do you have it? You know, why, why, why? You know, it's just, it, it, again, as I said before, and we discussed this, like people are ashamed of using like dating app, though it's a tool. So, you know, and they'd like put in those like cliches or whatever. And then the same goes with women, you know, oh, why did he call me? We're like, girl, you swiped for abs. This is why. <laughs> Literally, a guy had a picture, just the abs, you know, <laughs> not, not necessary, just the abs. And you swipe for it, like, what do you expect? I'm sorry, that was funny, <laughs> just abs. That's what I said. No, nah, but so for me, I don't think I don't think it ruins anybody's relationship because you know I think especially this kind of goes back to the double standard things too in that episode like I think if y'all did want to do that especially women because y'all know if y'all gonna do it before you know you know uh, my friend she told me she was like yo we know if we gonna do it before you know my good friend Valencia she was like we know we gonna do it before so she she knows in her head before she even get in the car yeah <laughs> I, like, I agree with her like yeah if you hit it off like uh there could be like go like change like no right you know it could happen on 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 the scene already you know just like you know but (laughs) yeah i mean uh yeah we do know we do know right away this is why i'm gonna keep telling you don't choose us we choose you yeah so i don't think it ruins it so yeah you know yeah i I mean after that yes that's already 
there's already like a human level it's not a, a level of you know uh, who fucked who on which date you know because yeah. there also could be like three dates in three months and could be three dates in one week so this like yeah. cliche whatever but like I know it like Steve Harvey patronized that like 90 day rule which is cool the so like to days. see if like guys like um, marriage material and cool if you are willing to do that and you think it will benefit you definitely do it but if you don't feel you know if you want to rip the clothes on the first or second date or whatever it is and you feel like it and it feels right at the moment why mm-hmm. hold yourself back mm-hmm. and what if the sex no, is bad what are you gonna do next after three months you know you like already like in 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 deep connection and relationship with the person and then the sex is whack and you just like I gotta help them out with it. Should have slept on the first date, you know. So it, it all like it's all very personal. But again, it also depends on your sexual activity. Some people like some people are sexual and the sex is not important for them, and it's fine. Which goes to my question that I wanted to ask uh, you as a male perspective on this the Ghost of Wine podcast. Um, how do men react on the sex toys? in bed because there is a cliche that if a woman wants to bring a toy into bed then the man doesn't satisfy her uh physically and it's like you know it 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 hurts the ego of the guy which i see Uh, (laughs) as a very useless uh ego play no okay all right (laughs) so with that i I felt the same way like oh man why she why is this happening why is she bringing this am i not enough you know and and then i looked at it like no okay okay what are sex toys that we're talking about though? Ah, uh, the Clip satisfire, <laughs> like, yo, like, like for yeah, the those clip. things, those things, yeah, those, those things, things. <laughs> <laughs> whatever y'all use. I, at first, I was like, oh, no, no, that's weird, you know. So, um, yeah, so I don't think, like, at first, I used to have these, these like bad thoughts about it, but then when I actually, like, you know. I thought about it. I'm like, no, it's not bad. You know, it's it's a tool. You know, it helps. It's not saying that you're not doing what you're doing. You know, right? I mean, you know, if um, it's uh, we're also gonna have like a role playing um, episode that I'm gonna talk more about on that. But you know, it, it, there's nothing bad. Experimenting in that is amazing, and like, there's no such cliche. You know, um, and again, it's all about communicating because like sometimes sex is not all the time the great for us to be honest it could feel nice but you know we're all there for intimacy but also you know Mm -hmm. to get to the higher point so if you you know bring a satisfier you know it's nice i mean it's also very sexy when a man proposes that it doesn't mean anything bad you know like if you if you're afraid of anything try like just a simple you know um a ring Mm -hmm. vibrating ring i heard it's nice though never tried it weird yeah you you got a whole episode planned for that we, we don't even have to talk about that like i don't i don't oh, know anything come about on. Weird stuff. okay <laughs> Let, let's talk like this um i was watching the this movie the other day and like women um in like in you know in marriage and she was like rewarding her husband with sex <laughs> why why yeah, why people so show it in movies like yeah, like you're in marriage for a long time, but why why this should be as a reward? You know, it's mm-hmm. it's weird. What do you think about that? It is. Uh it's weird. That's all it's like, like it's weird. Like, yeah, that shouldn't be like an award, you know, it's kind of you know, yeah. I mean, obviously, I like you uh, yeah. you're like that, in that marriage for a long time, you had kids, but like it should be something, you know, like between you two because you're still a couple besides the marriage and kids and whatever you have. So why would you reward, like make a sex as a reward? Like it's not a baby to reward it with a candy, you know? Is that a cliche though? Yeah. Is that a cliche? Cliche? I think mm. so. I never heard of that, but it sounds sounds crazy, you know? Like you don't, yeah, I don't think that should be. For that. I mean, I guess when you're happy, you want to do it, you know? Yeah, but like, I, even if you're happy, like you don't, obviously like you know it's lower time to time some um like your sex energy with your partner is not matching all the single time 
-hmm. but make it as a reward it's weird just simply weird because yeah. it's weird. it's not about like you know okay i'll let you fuck me or okay let's fuck you know it should be like more to that eventually yeah. like with the years or whatever which brings me which you know leads to like uh uh what's the uh, cheating and stuff a lot so why um the again communication there will be the key the porn cliche mm. yeah i told you i didn't know nothing about this so you, you gotta fill me in like i i don't get it lesbian videos ruin it for everyone guys think they uh, go down for like two minutes and the woman is like oh my god but it doesn't happen that much <laughs> to be honest it's a hard work well i think i think i think that stuff in general especially with like because i remember we talked about this expectations like yeah high expectations is because the, those movies are like that the, you know porn movies are like that they set you up for failure so yeah that the, i just say the whole thing is a cliche. It, set you up Boom, the whole thing is a cliche. <laughs> it will set you up for failure you know especially if you watch a lot you're like you ain't doing this and you're not doing that yeah it'll set you up for failure you know? yeah same as like you it know does, men like, have this cliche that a girl should be you know like hopping you know like legs in the air here goes yeah, the and oversized squeeze you know it's just no yeah those are those are professionals you know that they they take breaks they come back you know like it's not I mean, nothing bad about that but again like uh sometimes like the the mood moods are differently right moods means like some week you could be like you know a fucking porn star gymnastic and the other week you just you know want to like do a quickie or uh, i don't know like lay in bed and kiss for hours before you even going yeah anymore. Why, why are you making that face? Kissing for hours is beautiful. No, I was shaking. I was stretching my leg. Not sh shaking my leg. I was stretching my leg. I don't so, want to know yeah. what you do in your spare time under the table. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. I, I was stretching my leg. Um, anyway, yeah. in a conclusion, though, mm -hmm. uh, those cliches sometimes are actually helping, though. You know, they could set you boundaries if you need those in, you know, and what are you willing to do uh go for in dating and what you accept your partner to have and sometimes those cliches are just like too not even cheesy because i'm cheesy as hell but like you know they can ruin a lot of things yeah. as like as like reward of sex in marriage that's that's ridiculous for me and you know like I don't know, same as a bunch of things. So like, you know, yeah. right time. Like some of these cliches. And this one is just. Yeah, I was going to say that. Some of them are good and some are bad in conclusion. Yeah. So, you know, I, I feel like this is a very uh, productive episode. I like it. I came with my research today. You know what I'm saying? I came with my feels research. Feels nice. Feels nice. <laughs> you don't make it yeah, Usually I just come in. Usually I just come in here. Boom. Straight off the dome. But I came in with my research. Wrap it up. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening to the Go Sip Wine podcast today. You know, I feel like we had a very, very productive episode. So what you can do for us to help us out, help us trend up a little bit more, you know, like, subscribe, listen to us on RSS, watch the YouTube videos, do it all, you know, we appreciate it. If you have any, uh, you know, comments or thoughts on whatever it is, just leave the comments, shoot us DMs on Instagram. Dick Worry will open his Instagram. Swear, swear on on the on the episode that you will do it. I swear on this episode, I'm gonna open my Instagram. Stop Thank being you. private. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, no, and, I and if you know what I want you to do, it. I just want you to do it. I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah. Yes, guys, thank uh, you very much. Um, listen, to us. And um, oh, one more thing. One one more thing I was gonna say. Um, if you do, guys, in this, like she said in the comments suggest topics you know we'll, we'll, we'll take suggestions too that helps uh, yes to share anything you know new episodes whatever you feel like if you want to be a guest just shoot us uh dms or leave the comments below you know we're all for in and yeah that was the ghost of wine podcast and we are out i think it's going to be my thing we are out <laughs> don't Sorry. don't get me started on roasting you because i'm gonna win Anyway. Yeah, you, you.